going to mug me. I'm not going to mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Chief of Marathon. Download Veely now. What we're looking at here is a bland, basic builder's box. It totally lacks loot. This condo is a total snooze fest. And I have the perfect color to wake it up. We're going green. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry, Nicole. I think I hate it. I love green. Want to transform a student-style condo into a mature, French-inspired abode? We're going to show you how right now. Great design comes from a winning formula. Mine is as basic as a set of building blocks. Put them together, add up the results, and you've got a sensational room. Right out of university, Nicole bought her first home. I've been living there for five years, and it needs an update. She loves her condo's downtown location, but this place has to grow up in more ways than one. Wow, this place is huge! Enough with the sarcasm. It's little. It is little. Obviously, there's more to it, but not on this level, and this is what we're doing. So this is it. This is it. You've got a white denim sofa beside a black leather chair. Basically brought in furniture from school, from my parents' house. With an accent of metal, a touch of glass. Things that I had in my dorm and in my university apartment should not still be with me 10 years later. There's eclectic and then there's disjointed. Good mixes and bad mixes. Right. Strange brews. Strange brews. This is a strange brew. <laughs> it's just blah. What is this? Don't know, don't care, because guess what? It's going. I think it's cardboard. Kitchens don't get much more basic than this. Oh, I was going to use the word cheap. To do a proper overhang, you need 14 inches. I've got about seven. It's totally useless. It's all very basic and neutral. It totally lacks loo. Like, it has no zing. I'm in this space which just smacks of being put up in five minutes yeah. with no attention to detail, throw down a floor, whip in some counters, you know, and spray the popcorn on the ceiling. Why do you do that? You and I know how to fix this. You and I know how to call somebody to fix it. That's what Let's I meant. be honest. We're not doing it. And I would like something that suits my young professional lifestyle, something a bit more elegant and sophisticated. I've seen enough. Rip it out! Oh, that ceiling. Ugh. There is absolutely no reason why a place that is small on square feet can't be huge on style. Right. That thing is really boring. But she's a really interesting girl. So I think that what we could do is actually take her from girl to sophisticated lady. Lady. And give her some things that are a little bit more chic and a little bit more stylish and that are lifetime purchases in terms of furniture. If you're going to up the ante on the furnishings, I think you also need to up the ante on the space overall. Agreed. I mean, that kitchen is made of paper. <laughs> like it's. I want to use the vertical space. Yes. And I want it to be polished, a hit of pretty, but not fussy. I don't want it to go from sophisticated all the way to old lady. Right. So here's our creative brief. We want to upgrade those dreadful builder basic finishes, come up with multifunctional small space solutions, and give Nicole grown-up furnishings to reflect her maturing tastes. I got rid of all of my furniture, my couch, my bar stools, my chairs, my tables, everything. With the space emptied out, we can start getting rid of those builder basics. It doesn't exactly look bigger. Feels like the walls are coming in. I know. It looks... Which means making this space feel larger is our first challenge. We want to figure out a better design for the breakfast bar and something clever for the living dining area. Built-in solutions in small spaces are always going to be the most... Are you okay there? You know what we're playing right now? This is design charades. You do need a place to do this. If we did this little projecting peninsula here... Yeah. Could this function a little bit tete-a-tete for dinner and also maybe a little bit of... Laptop. Car? 
laptop? Well, sure. So we're putting in a dual-purpose peninsula table here with a wall of built-in storage behind it. But before we can decide what's happening here, here, and here, we need to find some inspiration. Well, these look inspiring. They might just work as legs for our built-in table. There are two of them. Could we just slice them off at the height that we need, reattach the little base to wherever we need it, and use those? Aren't they elegant? So just chop them and reattach. Totally. Those are our legs, 100%. OK, fancy pants, climb on up and grab the other one. Do you need a hand? <laughs> grab it, don't break it. Our hunt for furniture gave us a direction. Oh, oh. Suddenly, we were dreaming of all things French. It would be stunning sprayed. Like we could spray it white or navy. No, no, no. Keep it as is. It's a little bit minty. Mm -hmm. She really loves pretty. She loves feminine. She loves soft. How about we go for lighter neutral colors yeah. with a hint of something that is a bit more feminine, like some aqua. OK. Tommy might not be sure, but a minty green color palette will be perfectly demure. So design team members Michael and Lindsay are off to look at fabric. What's mint? What's aqua? What's toothpaste color? I don't know. That's mint. Too sheer. Too sheer. Maybe. I have total confidence in what she's doing. She's got nothing to worry about. We want her to be a little more grown up. We don't want her to be 88. <laughs> OK? We can have a little accent of a shimmery, minty green silk if we want. Yeah. We've got a faux ostrich aqua vinyl. The uh, green cheetah here. Um. Green cheetah? I say yes. This condo was builder basic. I was going to use the word cheap. So you know what that means. Rip it out. We've settled on a French-inspired style and a minty color palette. And our next step is to replace everything from the floor to the ceiling. You remember that popcorn effect? Why do you do that? Lindsay came up with a great way for it to disappear and give us flexibility for new lighting fixtures. The strapping allows an electrician to run wires anywhere he wants, basically. And then we have to get a drywall guy to come in to drywall the whole thing. We're getting the lighting plan we want and smooth ceilings. Back to the floor. We want to add something classy. I know, you were thinking this one. But maybe not minty. <laughs> it's called Eleuthera Ash. Looks like Eleuthera Ass to me. How do you feel about Acacia? No glue, no nails, just click and enjoy. Did you want to just click and enjoy? I like that. I actually like the lighter floor better, but I can I tell that you like the darker floor. I like the darker, like the floor, darker better. floor. I know. I... You just choose it to be contrarian. No, I actually think it's a better floor. I do. Let's ask the design team. Let's have a vote. Fine. Thank you. Let's see. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. So obviously this one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It's this one. What? It's a tie? OK. We need to pull a larger audience. This one. I'm going for the lighter one. I like this one. And I love this one. I choose this one. I definitely choose this one. This one, hands down. I like that one. It's not a tie anymore. Like I said, it's this one. With the floor sorted out, we need furniture. Something sophisticated Nicole can have for a lifetime, starting with the living room. I want a custom-designed sofa for the far wall. Not too wide, yet deep and loungy. So I brought in a piece from my office for inspiration. Here's what I want. I want to take this chair, and I want to turn it into a sofa, a sofa. But a sofa not like this chair. So I kind of want it to look like this, but absolutely nothing like this. OK? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Here, let's see if this will help. I want to take this arm, and I want to elevate it up so it connects to the back. So I want okay. it to be pretty. I want it to be deep, loungy, comfortable, elegant. I, I need I, I need this chair to become a sofa that says it all. I think I got the message. You got it? And besides our sofa that says it all. What about these chairs? 
we're looking for chairs for the built-in table. The caning on the box is in good shape. The seats, not so much. <laughs> the, seats, the seats are in desperate need of repair. Can we just them? upholster over this, though? Yes, please. Like, instead of repairing the caning, wouldn't you just upholster this seat and have a nice... I'm going to try and assess the comfort, OK? Woo! I don't find them super comfortable. <laughs> well, they're, it's basically like sitting on the toilet, OK? There's a big hole in the middle of that. That's what it felt like. Yes. OK. What I like is that by your suggestion of adding the upholstery, yeah. you add a little bit more comfort. One for me, one for you. Got it. Success. We've just got to send them off for painting and a new seat. Now, how about something with a little twinkle? I'm definitely a girly girl. I'd like uh, maybe a bit of sparkle, some elegant touches, maybe like a chandelier. What about these? I mean, this one looks like it came out of a ballroom. I know. That one looks like it belongs in a disco. <laughs> this one here looks like it fell down the stairs. It's definitely a no to the red, green, yellow, blue number. Or check out the green porcelain one over wow. there. Wow. And this, this has sparkly restraint. Well, this is English, and that's continental. So right. they're wild and crazy, gang. This is English. They're and a little but, more restrained. But, proper. A bit more buttoned up. A bit more proper. It may not be French, but it is still fabulous. It is $650. For $650, you're not finding that new. No. Should Lighting? we have asked for a better price? Check. Lighting, check. That was a good find. Yeah. Ooh, I love the yes. table. Solid, metal, gilded. I love this table. OK, so I'm going back in again to pay. This elegant antique mirror is a perfect add to Nicole's grown-up furnishings list. This is not a $300 mirror that you may grow tired of. This is a statement piece. And at seven feet high, it's a great way to make Nicole's small space seem bigger. Finally, to complete our lighting plan, we found pendants to hang in the kitchen. Beneath those pendants, we need to deal with that dysfunctional breakfast bar. To do a proper overhang, you need 14 inches. I've got about seven. It's totally useless. I want to extend the counter so you can sit comfortably at it, plus make the stool smaller and more elegant. But Tommy wants to get rid of it. I'm not a big fan of the breakfast bar. I'm actually not a big fan of breakfast. I think eliminating the breakfast bar and the stools would be a huge mistake. If we've got seating at our little peninsula, at our tete-a-tete -tete dining for two area, could you not just walk the 10 feet over there and sit there instead of sitting at the breakfast bar? Just saying. How can you not love it? Sorry, Tommy, but seating is critical to this small space. I'm sending an idea off to the cabinet makers, and we'll see what they come up with. As for those cane chairs we found for the peninsula table... It's basically like sitting on the toilet, OK? Well... What happened to our chairs, Michael? I don't, well, uh, I went to the painters to check in on the progress, and as you know, he was supposed to remove the cane from the seat. It was damaged. But he went ahead and removed all of it. The whole reason we chose them was because they were light and the caning was sort of a nice detail, a little bit graphic. I'm thinking maybe we cut our losses. <sighs> chair, what Those rhymes with chair? Good. Nightmare. OK, so we have to start over on the chairs. And then there's the little issue with our choice to go green. I don't like that color. <laughs> Not a big fan of green, huh? It's time for this tiny condo. Ooh to grow up a little. Why not take her from girl to sophisticated lady? Lady. But we've hit a couple of roadblocks. A chair painting malfunction. He was supposed to remove the cane from the seat, but he went ahead and removed all of it. Uh, chair, what rhymes nice with chair? chair? Nightmare. And with our green palette. Um, I think I hate it. Not a big fan of green, huh? Well, this room is going to be all green. So I hope she learns to love green. No. Yes, and that green cheetah fabric, it's only going on a cushion, so how bad can that be? Back to the chairs. It's all hands on deck with our design team. Maraid's off to find replacement chairs for that peninsula table. So Sarah said she wanted cane back and upholstered seat. I think this is a great option, which I'm going to show her. And it's $65, and they have two of them. What do you think of these chairs that Maraid found? I'm interested. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. I think that they're cute. I think the handle's sort of fun. But I'm concerned that <laughs> the cane is broken on all of them. It's a not quite there for me. 
So there you go, no to the chairs. Another search party heads on yet another chair hunt. Meanwhile, I have a simple, fabulous idea for the kitchen. For all of the cabinetry, yeah. what if we took a standard shaker profile door, yeah. paint it, and then look what you could do. These are framing fillets, so like normally, you would put them here. But instead of putting them in a picture frame, what if you put them in a cabinetry frame? You could just order some fillet, not fillet, some fillet <laughs> from <laughs> your framer. Fillet. Order some framer's fillet and, uh, you know, give a little, give a little glam. I like that idea. I love that idea. I'm so glad you like my idea. Okay, there you go. Sold. Give me that back. Let's go. So the kitchen cabinets get installed. In go those fancy fillets. And the wider counter is built to give enough room for our custom built bar stools. Now, what about that sofa for the living room? Oh, look at that. When is a chair not a chair? When it's a sofa. When it's a sandy sofa. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's ample for lounging. Do you want to approve it? I totally want to approve it. I think it looks fantastic. Oh. What do you think about this as a cute little stool? Very cute. Now, do you feel better about having stools in our kitchen? Look at how amazing that is. You fax one of these, and out comes one of these. It's like magic. It's a bit of a dusty environment here. H how are you feeling about the stools at the bar now? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I'll have a gin and tonic. He likes it. It's not bad. The no. stools are finished and upholstered with a faux ostrich aqua vinyl. Back in Nicole's condo, that seven-foot mirror gets installed in the living room, as do the legs and top of the peninsula table. And Michael arrives back at the office with two more chair options to fit underneath it. More chairs? Why do I feel like I've been here before? You have been. At least the hole is on purpose this time. Right. <laughs> Remember our first chairs? think of this. Well, this is not uncomfortable. No. And this one is horrifically <laughs> uncomfortable. OK. So eliminate yours right off the bat. What do you think we're going to pay for this, approximately, for this pair? Well, for the pair, we can pay 300 So realistically, we'd be looking to spray it and reupholster it, at which point the price is going up and up and up. This is becoming a veritable odyssey for chairs. We don't have a chair. That's our problem. We're taking this condo from boring sophomoric to French sophistication. But getting there has been a game of musical chairs. This one is horrifically <laughs> uncomfortable. At last, our chair search is over. It took us five tries to actually get the chairs. I found this pair of chairs less than $75 each. We've got good traditional lines. They're in great shape. So that's it. Case closed. We finally found them. Oh my gosh, stunning. You want transformation? This is it. We're talking unrecognizable from before to after. Our adventure in green started with the find of a beautiful French console, and now look what it's turned into. I would have never chosen mint green, but I love it. If you're renovating a small space, the most important element to focus on is how best to use every single, not square foot, square inch that you have available. We've got We've this got cabinet here. This, which connects to this cabinet. Hello? Storage was huge for me. I didn't think you could fit any more storage in there. I'll tell you something about that breakfast bar. I didn't want it, and Sarah thought it was absolutely necessary. I think it's useful. I think it is appealing to buyers. And I think what you can do is create stools that are just a little perch, something that tucks neatly away. I know that if this was my place, they'd be in constant use. Decoratively, the most clever thing, hands down, was that little fillet idea that Sarah had for putting in our shaker panel cabinets. By adding a simple silver leaf fillet, we were able to turn this kitchen into something that seems more sophisticated. Our original agenda was to just skim the stippled ceiling and get rid of it. We decided to drop the ceiling so that we could have 
a blank slate to create whatever kind of lighting plan we wanted. You can immediately tell when you walk in that these floors are natural wood. Thank goodness the vote went in my favor. Otherwise, I might have had to just ignore them all and do what I wanted. I have to admit, now that the final chairs are in place, I think that they're better than what we started with. By installing a peninsula, we didn't take up the extra space that would have been required for a freestanding table. I love my new furniture. I love the couch. That's the most comfortable piece of furniture ever. It is possible to have it all when living in a small space, as long as you focus on streamlined, small-scale proportions. Mirror, mirror on the wall. We've got one on every wall. I saw that big mirror and I actually just started crying. I thought it was spectacular. A few strategically placed mirrors will open up and lighten up a very, very small space. By installing antique mirror below the counter where the stools are and in behind the open shelves, it creates just a glint of reflection. I bawled my eyes out because it was so beautiful. Tears are like the best reaction you can hope for as a decorator. Tears are good. We like tears. The lesson that I will leave you all with is this. Don't live with less just because you live in a small space. Basic is fine, but standout is superb. It's like sitting on somebody's big toe. That's what it looks like. No offense to the designer. Actually, wait a minute. Total offense to the designer. Isn't it like a big butt? You know what's nice about these, though? There are two of them. We could each have one. One at my place, one at your place. And then we could text each other and say, are you, are you sitting on your butt? <laughs> I am actually sitting on my butt right now. Oh, stop. <laughs> this is just ridiculous.